the cost of living crisis is uppermost in many people's minds at the moment. Inflation is the percentage change in consumer prices from year to year. But which countries at the moment are experiencing the highest rates of inflation? Well, we have full year data for 2021. So drawing on figures published by the International Monetary Fund, these are the nations with the highest inflation rate. That's the percentage change or increase in prices in 2021. And you can see that Venezuela comes out far and away with the country with the highest rate of inflation, 1,589%. Sudan, 359%. And Zimbabwe, 99%. But all of the countries in this chart here, including Nigeria and Turkey, Ethiopia, Argentina, they still have high rates of inflation. It's just they're relatively low compared to or contrasted with Venezuela. Hyperinflation is usually defined as when retail prices, the prices that we pay for goods and services, are increasing faster than 50% per month. And as we've seen, Venezuela has far and away the highest rate of inflation in the world economy in 2021. But this has been happening for several years. Indeed, the Venezuelan economy has collapsed in real terms if we measure employment and output and living standards since President Maduro came to power in 2013. Indeed, Venezuela has now had the longest, the second longest period or bout of hyperinflation since Nicaragua in the late 1980s. So high inflation, inflation that uh, uh, is in excess of 10, 15, 20, 50 percent destroys the real value of your savings. Many people are experiencing that, not just in these countries, but also in the UK at the moment. And high inflation destroys confidence. It undermines people's confidence in the basic financial system when money as a store of value uh, is losing that, that purpose. It can also cause a collapse in the external value of the currency, making imports, including crucial imports, including pharmaceuticals, fertiliser, food and energy, even more expensive. So Venezuela is the country that stands out as the highest inflation rate in the world in 2021. So what do you think about this? Uh, what are the causes and consequences of hyperinflation? What can be done to control it? We'd love to know what your thoughts are. So please type your thoughts into the comments box below.